in this question, we start off being asked to define a type 1 error and a type 2 error. A type 1 error is when we've rejected H0 while H0 was in fact true. It was correct. There's the error that we made. We rejected when it was the truth. We rejected when it was correct. The other type of error that we make is not rejecting when it was false. So not rejecting H0, but H0 was actually false. These are the two errors, the type one and the type two. So make sure you're referring to rejection of H0 or not rejecting H0. And then you have a statement or a wording that tells us whether it was true or false. Continuing with the question, we're told that rolls of material manufactured by a machine contain defects at a mean rate of six per roll. Six defects per roll. The machine is modified. A single roll is selected at random and a test is carried out to see whether or not the mean number of defects per roll has decreased. The significance level is chosen to be as close as possible to 5%. So there's a lot of information there. We're not actually asked to do the hypothesis test, but we are asked to calculate the probability of a type 1 error for this test. Let me get the information down. We're working with a Poisson distribution where the lambda value is 6. We have a hypothesis where lambda equals 6 and an alternate hypothesis where lambda is less than 6. What would this look like on a diagram? So Poisson distribution as always has positive skew. Here's the expectation at the peak, and we're looking for this critical region. I need a value of A, where the probability that it's less than or equal to A is as close as possible to 0.05. We're looking for the probability where X is less than or equal to A being as close as possible to 0.05, the significance level we were given. Let's try some values. The probability that X is less than or equal to 2, well, that ends up being 0.06 to 0, 6%. Less than or equal to 1, that ends up being 0 0.0174, so that's 1.7%. The wording of the question asks us to be as close as possible to 5%, so although we usually go for less than the significance level, this time we're trying to go for as close to the significance level as possible. So we are actually going to pick less than or equal to 2, which has a probability a little bit larger than our 5%. This is what we're focusing on. This is not the critical region, though. The critical region must be written as x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, we've been asked to find the probability of a type 1 error for this test. We actually have it on the screen already, but let's just go through the form process so we're in the habit. Probability of a type 1 error. This would be the critical region, the probability of the critical region with the original parameter. That is the probability that it's x is less than or equal to 2 using lambda equals 6, which we'd actually done already. This is the 0 0.0620 we were looking for all along. Okay, that's the probability of a type 1 error. Next, we're asked, or we're told, that the true mean number of defects per roll made by the machine is now four. So that's the new parameter. We're asked to calculate the probability of a type two error. Well, type two error, this is the probability of accepting with the new parameter. So the probability of the acceptance region with lambda equals four. The acceptance region here is the opposite of the critical region. So we're looking for X being greater than or equal to three, when lambda equals 4. So let's go ahead and find that. So 3, 1,000, and 4. I've put in the 1,000 as an arbitrarily large value. This is way off into the skewed tail and should give me the correct answer. You could do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 2, but this gives us exactly the same answer. Into the calculator, and we get a value of 0 0.7619. This is the probability of the type two error. 